Howdy, y'all. This is my nation's mom. Mom grew a beard. In case you noticed. <laughs> you noticed, son. That is the hand of Aubrey. <laughs> Aubrey hand. And, and uh, anyhow, this is now. The way your name is spelled is it? Stefan? Stefan? Stephen? No, just like Stephen King. Just Stephen? A PH. I don't know if it was Stephan or Stephen. 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 Yeah. Okay. Because with the PH, it's like. I wasn't sure. Steven. Yeah. Anyhow, he is the male counterpart, part of Cooper Clunkers. <laughs> Remember, clunk that light. Come on, do it. Shy, shy. <laughs> you want to do it? You want to do it? Huh? Clunk, yeah, do it. clunk, clunk the like button for Ranger. Clunk that like button. <laughs> like and subscribe to Ranger. That's right. Anyhow, we're going to do a, an interview. So let's start off. We, we did this, this is take two. So. If you can hear the cackling in the background, that's Carla and Sherry Sherry. Sherry Sherry's next. She's going to be the next interview. So, anyhow, where and where you were born? I was born in Moorhead, Kentucky. Moorhead, Kentucky. In 1986. 1986. And you grew up in Kentucky. Yep. Moorhead. Grew up. Around the outskirts of Moorhead, yeah. And uh, you're saying you, you, you've been around a little bit, like, where oh, was it, uh, Michigan? Yeah, I've, I've lived a few places, but only for a short period of time, you know. Michigan, South Carolina, and North Carolina. So what was you living up there for? In Michigan? Yeah. Uh, Just your family? Or? With the ex-girlfriend. Ex-girlfriend. <laughs> oh, okay. Say no more. So anyhow, your childhood. What was your childhood growing up here in Kentucky? I had two brothers. So yeah, three boys. Drove my mom crazy. Right. Beat up each other all the time. Normal. Normal childhood. Normal childhood. Yeah. yeah. And y'all went to school together, so I'm sure that was fun for the well, teachers. My older brother didn't go to same school because he's blind. So oh, okay. he went to school in Lord for oh, cool. So your childhood, other than your brothers playing around and everything, was it what was it like growing up? Did you go to regular school? Did you Yeah, I went through the whole system except for system. high school. <laughs> the system. Yeah, the, yeah. There you go. So any Memories, any big memories from school? Or? I used to have to get off the bus constantly for panic attacks. Oh, <laughs> that's the only like vivid memory I have. Just panic attacks on the school bus. Okay. Uh, uh, military service. Did any of your family ever serve in the military, or did you serve? Or? I haven't, but. My grandfather's and my cousin. So that's, that's it. How long did they serve? Not sure. I know my cousin was only a couple of years. Right. And what what was he in? The, like what what branch of the military? Oh, is it she? And oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> just uh, just the army. So it's. You know, what, how long? Two years? Yeah. Something like that. You know, I wasn't like keeping tabs on it. But. That's cool. Did she just get out of just normal or did she have to get out for injury? Injury? Oh, okay. What happened? I don't know. I just messed not. up a hip and couldn't, just couldn't, couldn't do it anymore. Yeah. Well, appreciate her service. I'm sorry that she got hurt. Um, let's see. What kind of cars do you remember riding in to drive? Do you, you know, have you ever driven? Or yeah, up you? until the last three years. Yeah. yeah. My first car was it was a 1986 model, so it was the year I was born. Wow. So we we got along. Yeah, we got along. Uh, it was a Pontiac, but I can't remember what kind of Pontiac it was. It was horrible. It was a horrible car. Got it for eight hundred dollars. Like Grand Am or? No, it was. I don't know. Eighty six. No, his. It would have been eighty six. It had a 
had the number eight in it. That's all I can remember. Pontiac with an eight? I'll see what I can find. Yeah. Okay. I'll dig up on that. I'll, I'll message you to see if that's the car. I'll be like, I'll send you a picture and say, is this the car? No. Okay. It probably Next. is. Is this the car? Yeah, close enough. <laughs> Was that the only car you ever had? Or? No. Then I went to a uh, Ford Escort. Ooh, Which, I had a GT Escort. I know. I commented it on your video. Oh, it's yeah. <laughs> yeah, the 1990. Yeah. That's a hot little car. And then, what was the last one? Oh, I think it is the last one. So just those two cars and, you know, the uh, Buick Saber. That's what we got now. Buick Saber. It's auto drive. She drives. She, drives, she yeah. chauffeurs you around. I do. <laughs> um, growing up, what were some of the interesting gadgets you remember? I mean, I know you're younger, I'm, uh, but hey. What do you, what exactly? Invention, gadgets, toys and stuff, things, you know, growing up as a kid. That were invented while I was growing up? Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Super Nintendo. <laughs> Super Nintendo. <laughs> um, what about floppy disks? You're a young whipper snapper. Yeah, floppy, floppy disks. Disk. <laughs> oh, I was, that was in your past when you were growing up, wasn't it? Uh, I don't know. I'm thinking about 86. Like, really well, yeah, 86. Let's see. 90. 90. Yeah, you still, you, you'd be old enough. You remember the floppy disks and stuff like that. Yeah. I, 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 I CDs. CDs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, speaking of back when you were a kid, did you do anything like make your own toys kind of things or stuff you used to do to entertain yourself? When I was a kid, I didn't have very many toys, uh -huh. so I had. I remember having this plastic cow. That's all I had. Plastic cow. <laughs> and uh, one red was it? No, it was white. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and Sorry, would, it's a bottom of YouTube reference. <laughs> I would go out in the dirt, and I would just build things out of dirt. Out of dirt? <laughs> yeah. I used to do that when I was a kid. That's funny. Um, what? Uh, memories of, like, religion and stuff. Have you, have you, have you grown up very religious, or...? Uh, Kind of when I was younger. But I mean, it's an open question. There's no wrong answer. Up until 10 or 11, I was Methodist. Methodist. Oh, okay. Yeah. So do you all go to church today or anything today? Or? Uh, Not really? I, I went for about a eight months again, and then I started feeling really judged and stuff. So. Yeah, that's the problem with organized religion. They, they start looking at you, and it's like... You know, I'm just here, I'm trying to fit in, and y'all make me feel bad. I don't know why, yeah, I don't know why they have to do that. I get the rubber neck every time. You do, and it's, it's like, eh, you want me to come back, stop looking at me. So, uh, I'm going to get back there to Snapchat or something. Um, let's see. Um, Spit it out, Ranger. Yeah, I'm... Uh, <laughs> What, what's some of your favorite memories growing up? Favorite memories growing up? Uh, Other than meat and offering. I mean, that's got to be your favorite memory, right? Playing in some horrible bands that I thought were good. Oh, <laughs> she going to smack you. There you go. <laughs> Playing in horrible... Oh, so you play music? You play an instrument? I play drums and guitar. Oh, cool. <laughs> you're you're going to have to do a video on that. You got to have a guitar? I have a guitar, yeah. Oh, somebody's going to have to do a vlog with a guitar. When it becomes a holiday that has something to do with music, I'll do it. Okay, let's see what we got coming up. Halloween, that's a good musical. Get out there. And yeah. If enough people want to hear me I want to hear you do that Monster Mash. That's going to be your challenge. You're going to sing Monster Mash for Halloween. Uh... Okay. <laughs> I was working in the lab late one night. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> um, uh, what was your first job? Pizza delivery. Pizza delivery. 
any brand specific or just like a mom and pop shop? Mama, uh, uh, cool. Mama Joe's Pizza. Uh, Mama Joe's Pizza. Mama Joe's Pizza. How long did that last? Six months. Six months. <laughs> Bad experience that you like. I'm not coming back. <laughs> I don't remember why I stopped working there. It's been a long time. Did it? Uh, you have any interesting <laughs> stories about pizza delivery? <laughs> yeah, that's a good question. One time, yeah. one time I got a tip that was forty dollars. Forty dollar tip? And I don't understand why. They didn't like try to lure you into the basement or anything, did they? <laughs> Hey, if you're the Larry guy, get down here. Here's forty dollars. <laughs> Don't mind the video cameras. Just come down here and relax. <laughs> no, forty dollars. <laughs> yeah, take a little more than forty dollars today. But I think they were just going. to, I think they might have been. You know, they were going to do that. But once yeah. they saw me, they thought maybe you know maybe uh, this guy will get away easily. Oh Lord, <laughs> give him the slip. Yeah. <laughs> So is that the only job you ever had, or? No, I worked at Cracker Barrel in Mount Sterling. Oh, cool. And, uh, you commuted to, to Mount Sterling every day? I lived in Mount Sterling. Oh, you lived in Mount Sterling? Okay, because so, I lived in Mount Sterling. Oh, yeah, because I'm thinking more of it. I'm like, good lord, that's a long way to commute. Lord, listen to them guys. They're on the phone. Yeah, so how long did that? Two weeks. Two weeks? <laughs> What I happened? can't. I can't hold a job. I have panic attacks. So oh, oh, okay. The depersonalization and the panic attacks don't yeah. allow them to work. Yeah. Um. And you've had you've had that. You know, we'll talk about that a little bit. You've had that pretty much your whole life. Since I was nine, I had my first panic attack. Right. I know they're bad. I've had panic attacks, but you have them constantly. Yeah. I'm tingly right now. <laughs> well, well, I'm a hard guy to be around. I'm sorry. No, I ask the hard questions. No. Her. You tell me, Stephen, come on. This is fine. It's more her over here, you know. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> Aubrey is his trigger. Takes <laughs> <laughs> you under bad. the table. Whoa, that's the All right, all right. All right. All right. That's bad. Come on now. <laughs> but, uh, so you, when did you? Get diagnosed. What was it? The deep, uh, depersonalization. depersonalization. Well, they diagnosed me with. God, stop that! I might have known what are you. You just scared him. Now he don't want to finish the interview. We're talking about something serious. See how she is. Okay. Sorry, dude. No, it's it's fine. Come on, just pass it by. So anyhow, how? So when did you first get? <laughs> she didn't want to be a camera. <laughs> oh, she's bad. You better leave the blooper in her. Well, hey, pull up a chair, I guess. Yeah, pull up a chair. <laughs> Good Lord, I don't know. So anyhow, when, back to the interview. I forgot what the question was. <laughs> when you were first diagnosed with depersonalization. Uh, well, at first it was panic disorder. And then it turned into schizophrenia. And then that was a misdiagnosis. And then depersonalization I was diagnosed with three years ago? No, four or five years ago. Before I met her. So it was... I helped him figure it out. Oh, cool. Over the phone. It's nice that doctors can't figure things out. So they, act, they had you pegged as being schizophrenic. I have to... Just I sitting have... here talking to you, I can tell you're not schizophrenic. <laughs> no, uh, I mean... Of course, I'm not a psychologist. But I did stay at a Holiday Inn Express one. Yeah, they, <laughs> they told me I wasn't schizophrenic. Did I got it. Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought you meant chef over here. Yeah. Frank chef panel. Is he stuck there? <laughs> he ain't stuck the other chef. There we go. There we go. Uh, I was the one that diagnosed him. <laughs> hey, I died. Don't know what's him. <laughs> okay, put him back on the shelf. So where somebody else is. So, uh, the therapies and stuff they're doing now, are they seem to be helping? Or? Not really? Yeah. Um, they give me medication that is supposed to help. It probably just makes you feel like a zombie. Well, at first it didn't help, and I realized this doesn't help. Yeah. 
But then when you try to stop taking it, it's way worse than having the disorder. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the withdrawals. From, yeah. yeah. Okay. I'll tell you, yeah, it helps, but when you stop, it's like a lean on, lean off kind of drug. You stop at cold turkey, it causes you a lot of trouble. Or are they still working with you, trying to figure out the right combination? There's nothing for the disorder I have. You just have to work through it. It's just like a, a trial and error type thing, you know? I wonder if, if like, uh, some concentration like yoga or something like that might help? Or it sounds more like anxiety, kind of. A There's a lot of anxiety involved, yeah. But, no, I used to try to meditate, but now I focus on my breathing and it reminds me that I had a collapsed lung at one time. Oh no. Yeah. And so I start thinking about my lungs. And that just yeah. gets you panic going. Attack. Oh. Yeah, I need to panic attack, so. so I can't do breathing exercises. And thanks to the wonderful lawmakers of the state of Kentucky, cannabis is not legal, so you can't try that. No, I wouldn't want to anyway. Well, I don't know if it might help, you know, one of the little gummies or something, maybe, no? No. Uh. <laughs> I have a feeling that you've already, and it didn't. Okay, we won't say any more No comments. <laughs> hey, I'll tell you what, as soon as it becomes legal for my chronic pain, I'm going to try it. Yeah. Can't try it right now, not that I'm, eh. Well, maybe I'm if the opportunity was there, I might. I don't know. <laughs> have fun with that. <laughs> yeah, that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> um, so anyway, well, that's kind of a serious illness, and that's another thing. Was did you have you just always had this problem, or did it something come up like did it you have like a real bad fever when you were a kid? Or I've had it since I was nine. Like, got something happened to trigger, and it right. hasn't went away since. I wonder what happened. I almost drowned when I was nine. Oh. People thought I was joking. Well, I was like, help me, you know. They were sitting there recording with a camera. Oh, no. <laughs> they thought I was joking around. So that's more like a, what they call PSTV type of thing? Yeah, I know I have that. So that's probably more where you need to focus than that. Then he was in a bad accident. Yeah, I remember you was talking about your bad accident. That's okay. what I think it made it stick. Make, man, that probably really made it stick. Yes. Just direct them to one of my depersonalization videos or something. Right. Oh, definitely. There's going to be a card up in the corner. Cool. Because you did, you did the one. I really like that where you were recording you going through one of your episodes. Yeah, just watch one really, of those. Yeah, it was really awesome. And there's going to be a link up there. Y'all are going to see it in the corner. Yeah, or up there. There or there. I can't. I don't know which one. Is it there? Yeah. Okay. And, uh... Oh, that's another thing. You all did the card thing on video, and I couldn't find it. Yeah. The vote. I didn't know I had it turned off. I, could, I had turned it back on. That's why I never got to see that. All right. Oh. Um, so, bucket list. Do you have any things that you've done, you've checked off, things you want to do? Well, my bucket list would be Rubbermaid. <laughs> mop <laughs> mop bucket <laughs> oh lord no seriously um anything from the dollar store <laughs> yeah. Yeah. don't say rubber mate it does in chinese but you have to translate it i would say uh skydiving but i can't go at high altitudes no no way i i thought about it when i was younger but I say I physically can't go in higher altitude, altitudes. So oh. trip to Denver's out of the question. I keep touching this. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Here, let me. There. That should be good enough. There'll be a couple of bumps and bangs, but I'll, I'll do the I'm magic good. editing. <laughs> It'll all be gone. It'll all be a bad memory. <laughs> I guess uh, get something going with this YouTube channel. I don't right. Know. Yeah, and you just started this not too off long. Yeah, I know, y'all sign. You know, it takes me. I don't want to be disappointed. No, don't be disappointed. It, it takes time. That's one thing about a channel. It's like my channel. I, I've been YouTubing, seriously, only for maybe, what, last year and a half. Even though I've had a YouTube channel since, what, 2007? I don't know how long ago it's been. 
but I never really did anything serious until probably maybe a year and a half ago. It just takes time. We've been doing it for a year. Hmm? We've been YouTubing for a year. For a year. Yeah, so you'll start to pick up a little more traction here. It. Plus you have to uh, network. You have to get out there. And, yeah, I know. I want to be discovered. <laughs> be discovered, yeah. Just, hey. I got one. Before I die, maybe I should marry this over Yeah, here. that would be nice. <laughs> you know, yeah, this woman be over here. Bucket, <laughs> and maybe have a couple of little groupers. Yes. She's my finance. Finance? Fiance. My finance? <laughs> She's my financier. <laughs> I was like, what does that mean? <laughs> So is that, are you, uh, are you being official now that she is officially your fiance? Y'all have a date? No ring? Is that the ring? Yep. Show the ring. There's the ring. <laughs> cool. Y'all set a date? No date. Whenever we can afford it. Hey. Me and Carl want to just the dates. Yep. You know, I'm just saying. <laughs> hey, Yana. <laughs> Officially, by the state of Kentucky, see you, husband and wife, wife. <laughs> You're my dad, kiss the bride. <laughs> oh, do they do, do they do that too? What's that? They do that too? Like, no, I, I'm just, I, yeah. <laughs> like, here's your paper, bye. That's basically what they do. <laughs> you, you, pay, you pay the fee, and they do their thing. You take her, you take him, okay. Her. Blah, blah, blah. So, uh, what do y'all do for like vacations or anything? Do y'all have any special places you go or anything? The grocery store. The grocery store. <laughs> That's it. That's the only place we go. Well, now, how long have you two been together? It'd be four years in four February. Four years? Cool. Awesome. Where do y'all meet? Facebook. Facebook. Cool. See, me and Carla, we knew each other from back in high school, we lost t touch of each other, we lost track of each other, and we found each other on classmates.com, you know, the school thing, and uh, that was pretty interesting, that was back before they wanted 20 bucks a month or whatever stupid fee they want now, nowadays I, I'd have never found her because you have to pay to see who's, who's kind of stupid. That's really cool. Yeah, it really is awesome. Y'all met on Facebook. You know what? I remember you, you did a vlog about that. So, people who are following your channel know that already. Anyway, if you didn't, there you go. They found each other on Facebook. Hold on, didn't we tag you in that video? No, you got tagged by somebody else. That's right. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. yeah. And, uh... Speaking of Facebook, you got a Facebook page, but you don't, I don't think. Yeah, Facebook's kind of, nah, I got a Facebook page, I kind of watch it, but I don't, you know, if you, if you message me on Facebook, I might not see it for a day or two, because I really don't go on there. You wouldn't see it for months. Yeah. I got enough drama, you know, what kind of What? Enough drama. Hey, you took enough drama, man. <laughs> So, let's see, what other, um, I would ask you what was different back in your day as today, but you're not that old, so it really is, you're, you're, you're kind of the, you're, you're the, you're a young whippersnapper as far as that goes. I'm in my 30s, I mean, yeah, I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> Do you have any advice for younger kids, little kids that go on YouTube and stuff like that? On YouTube? Well, YouTube, social media in general, just the kids, kids in our days. Don't get big headed. Yeah, don't get, yeah. And if somebody supports you, support them back. Yeah, that's a good one. Oh, and another thing, just because somebody does a challenge on YouTube, don't, don't yeah, do don't follow. Yeah, don't yeah, follow that don't, crap. Don't, because some of them can kill you. Yeah, well, it's like the, well, they did the Tide Pod challenge, which is really stupid. And there was quite a few kids that killed them. Uh, another one that was extremely dangerous is the cinnamon challenge. Because the people, the first thing you do is you choke, you inhale it, and you get pneumonia, and then you end up in the hospital, and hopefully you don't die, but yeah, don't. Don't if, do something if, stupid. 
yeah, if the challenge is just a goof, yeah, okay, that's fine. But if it's something you're like, it is kind of serious, and no, right. don't, yeah, don't, don't be doing that. You know what? If you're watching, you know it's stupid. Don't do it. Exactly. You know. <laughs> you already know. Yeah, you already know. You don't. Yeah. You don't need anybody to tell you. So anyhow, yeah, we're gonna wrap this up a little bit. I appreciate you taking the time. Aubrey can't see her, but she's right over there. You'll see her soon enough because when they hit a thousand subscribers, she's going to go and you're going to see her. And she's pretty. She's pretty gal. Yeah. Very much. Yes. Yeah. And uh, anyhow, we're going to get off of here. And hope y'all enjoyed this little impromptu. We, we did a little meetup. Sherry Sherry's back here with Carla. You can hear all that cackling and giggling. Yeah. Anyhow, appreciate you talking to me. And I uh, appreciate y'all talking to me. Yeah. Uh, Dobby's over there. She's right over there. <laughs> There's the hand. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, God bless everybody. And uh, hope y'all enjoyed this. And tune in next Monday. Thank which I think next Monday is going to be Sherry Sherry because she's getting ready to get the hot seat. Okay. Next. So, yep. uh, Anyhow, God bless everybody. Take care. Uber bye. Yeah. Yeah, hold on. Hold on. Oh shut. There we go. Here we go. No, no, wait a Do it again. Shut. Uh, oh, here we go. We got it. Oh, no, no, there no, we go. No. Uh, no, 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 no. That's for Aubrey. <laughs> Anyhow, God bless everybody. Yeah. So we will see you next Monday. Bye. Bye. Bye.